maybe the most confident person I've ever played. <laughs> she's so much fun. She's she's so wild. She is unabashed. She is showing off at all moments of every day. Um, and she knows what she's selling. She's like, let's go. Give me a movie contract. She's a blast. She would currently be like, I mean, I think she'd be a nostalgia girly, so I feel like she'd be living for all of the shows that are like the biopics or the things that are like actually set in the past, even though they're being made right now. Um, I don't know, I feel like she would think that she should be like Cher in the Cher show and like just genuinely anything that the name of the person is in the title, I think Janet would be like, yes, that's for me. Um, one secret tongue that I can show off for you right now is I can touch my tongue to my nose. I would say, girl, you can have it all. Like, why not get married and also still star in Follies? Like, who cares what you heard? Like, you're a modern woman, you're a businesswoman, you are your own business. Like, if Robert can't take you going to the office every day, then like, bye. That's that's what I want for her. I want I want her to have it all. I super did, because I'm a nerd. I'm I'm like an old I'm an old soul. I like to say I'm a 90-year-old woman in a 32-year-old body. Um, and I was raised on a lot of the movies that of this era that this show is pastiching and making fun of, and I love that so much. Um, so I I definitely looked at people like Clara Bow, who was the, the it girl, and Janet's called the oops girl, which is like a takeoff on that. Um, but like she's that that like pouty like like she was just so fabulous and had like the, 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 the cupid bow hips and she everybody was obsessed with her and everybody was trying to be her. I I absolutely love doing the final sequence of the show. Um, it's the one moment where the characters on stage actually get to connect with and engage with the man in chair. And it's it's really what the show is all about. It's about these beautiful personal connections that we build with characters, actors, time periods that we've never actually met or seen. And, and we do that clear to this day. Yeah, like people have, there's cults of celebrity and there are artists who like, you know, you go to a concert and someone has a sign that says, your music saved my life, right? Like, that's what this show is about, is about um, someone finding solace in musical theater, which as a theater performer and, and teacher and, you know, professor creative, um, like, same, same man in chair. Like, there, there's a reason that, that so many of us dedicate our lives to this art form. What's Janet's favorite part? Okay, so the fun thing about this is that we're technically talking about two people because Janet Vandegraaff is the role that Jane Roberts plays in The Drowsy Chaperone. So I kind of want to answer this for Jane Roberts because I think Jane, it, I think her favorite number, her favorite number is anything where she's in the spotlight. So I think Show Off is her favorite, her absolute favorite, but then Bride's Lament is like probably her second favorite. Like four different powder puffs, depending on how she's feeling that day, and four different kinds of perfume. I think she would be all over, like, just anything that's absolutely bonkers and crazy. Like, I think the things where, like, people are, like, making their hair into different, like, shapes of things, like, she would be wearing that, like, it was nothing. of those annoying people who like just puts their leg over their head like once and goes yeah and then they're like done and they're like wait I'm ready to go I think that's her I think she would absolutely audition for all of the Sondheim stuff but she would want to do the short stuff she 
is a Laduka girl through and through, and uh, evidenced by the fact that she's wearing multiple pairs of Ladukas throughout the piece that you will be seeing. <laughs> Come see the show! Come see Drowsy Chaperone! It is an absolute delight. We are having so much fun <laughs> up there doing it for you, and we'd love for you to come and have fun with us. So come have a little escapism. Give yourself a little gift.